Well, Trevor, we've come to a farm here in, in County Down. It's, uh, it's not untypical of some of the systems in Northern Ireland compared to the South, where it's an indoor system yeah. on, a, on a three times a day milking. Could you describe maybe who, uh, the farm and who owns it? Yeah, uh, we're on Robert McCauley's farm in Rathfryland, County Down. Um, Robert uh, runs a uh, 580 cow herd, uh, high intensity herd, they're kept in pretty much all year round, um, producing average in around 12,000 litres per annum. Robert's been uh, running the system here for nearly four years. It's, uh, it's an eco better system. It uh, presses the uh, cow slurry, the fibre out of it, to a dry matter of between 38 and 40 percent. He's producing uh, somewhere in the region of nine cubic metres per day, uh, and that's, that's enough to uh, supply all, all the cubicles. Robert had been using uh, previously sawdust, uh, he was having some issues with uh, mastitis and he decided to switch over to the green bedding system and uh, over this past four years he, he's been uh, totally delighted with the system. Uh, he you know, is constantly has uh, uh, very low levels of uh, mastitis. What, what is the process? Yeah, well the process is uh, at the top section here it feeds in the the raw slurry. It uh, comes down uh, into a, a screw or an auger, which turns very slowly, as you can see there. That forces it across. It's got resistance on the end. You'll see the uh, the weights hanging on it there. So that keeps a constant load on it or back pressure. And and the around the inside of it is a, a stainless steel gauze, and the, and the liquid is uh, squeezed through that. Runs, runs out at the bottom here, across and down, and uh, finishes up on his lagoon for storage. Okay. Does the slurry need to be agitated, or you know, how, how, what, what does the slurry need to look like when it's presented to the system? Or? Well, in Robert's system here, it's pretty much fresh slurry all the time. Um, so he, he, hasn't, he hasn't had to use any, any mixing. The, uh, the uh, pump that he has on here has a mixing system on it, but he seldom uses it. Okay. Maintenance-wise, something like that, it's dealing with slurry, it's dealing with particles or whatever, what, what, yeah. what maintenance requirements typically would a system like that need? Well, um, he, has, he's, he needs to change the gauze in it approximately every two years. Uh, there, there is a cost in that, of course, uh, somewhere in the region of £4,000 to change that. Generally, uh, cow slurry would be coming in around um, 7%, 78%. Um, of course, I think the parlour washings come in here as well. But uh, once it's pressed, it's uh, around about 38 to 40% dry matter in this. So Trevor, people might ask, uh, it's dry dung in effect. How, how is there not a mastitis issue or what's the best management method to, to ensure it's we're not creating mastitis issues. Well, uh, Robert's working on a system here of putting on a, a light dressing every day, uh, and that's that's probably key to his success. Uh, you know, we're hearing from him that he might have uh, one case of mastitis every week. It's only it, it's only on for the day. It's a light dusting, therefore it's not building up any heat okay. as such, yeah. and it, it stays nice and dry. Yeah. Investment wise, roughly, what's the capital investment for a system like this, roughly? Well, Robert's system here is uh, designed around a, an old container, uh, but generally, the, you know, the complete system with the better and um, a frame to hold it, which can be risen up to whatever height, just enough to get a loading shovel, shovel in underneath it. And you take that all, all into account somewhere in the region of 40,000 to 42,000 pounds. Okay. 